All right, so we're here on Black Ops 1. This was the best way to play Black Ops 1 for a while until Plutonium came out. So now it's just unnecessary. I'm gonna see if it works. It usually doesn't work. It like barely works. It's like, it's like if a hospital somehow manages to like resuscitate a corpse from like a thousand years ago. It's like, yeah, I guess it's alive now, but like, is it? You know, that, that's what that's what this game feels like right now. You somehow managed to get into one lobby magically, and the next time you try to get into a lobby, it's just constant loading screens, a ton of fails, and you just won't get into one. Just constant problems. This game is messed up right now. Oh, one good game. There it is. What? Oh my god, it, it did the thing again. We're back. When it comes to not like the player base, but just like how it feels and just like how it seems nowadays this is the most dead call of duty call of duty 2 probably feels more alive than this and that's likely because it has literally nothing except the matchmaking okay i have this game on so loud it's not good don't come down here oh my god Dude, this game is so loud i forgot how loud the old call of duties are i have my elgato game capture window sound like a pretty loud setting I don't listen I don't listen to the game through like the actual like headset port on the Xbox. That's dumb. What if my OBS tells me I ran out of storage again and all my shit is corrupted? I wouldn't know. Oh, that guy's dead. Yeah, this game is just depressing to look at now, like in this current state. I'd argue, like, if Black Ops 2 didn't have modders, this game would be in a worse state than Black Ops 2. Dude, I, I can't wait until, like, the, like, Xbox acquisition actually goes through and they're basically, like, forced to fix these games to put them on Game Pass. Because here's the thing, if they- What the f*** just happened? Oh my god, kind of shit interrupted. Alright, either it's just the host or the game is literally broken like it has been multiple times before okay i think that's literally what just happened this is just how the game is shout out to everyone still somehow sticking through it but yeah if they don't fix these games before they add them to game pass i feel like there's just gonna be like app like people are gonna lose it there's already like the fixed back and pat movement that's already like decently known i guess i think merc music mentioned it once but i feel like if they add these games to game pass and they don't fix them i think like it's gonna like blow up especially since like apparently the first time they ever went to xbox like asking hey fix this i forgot where i read this but I, it was like on the website or something they said it was like activision's fault activision needs to fix it we can't do anything but the problem is it isn't activision's fault it's on xbox's servers so now they've bought activision they don't really have an excuse do they my aim is garbage oh my god it still worked out dude it's so easy to get comfortable with like new call of duty movement you just forget how like hardcore black ops 1 movement is i'd argue this is like the most rigid movement in any call of duty game at least any call of duty game that i've played oh my god i'm like already out of ammo how does that happen pop on off i never pop off this hard in black ops 1 i'm just different today There's a guy like right here. Enemy spy plane incoming. Oh no, there's a guy like right there. Oh! I walked right into the grenade. Sick. Why do I have the ASP secondary? Is this pistol actually good? I guess we won't find out. Enemy spy plane above. Man, there is just something different about playing these old games on like the original like 360 version though i mean it's gotta be the matchmaking right i think that's it so on new ones it's like only the game you can't really party up anymore or anything like that you just like have to tell your friend yo uh can you join this server please it's uh, the, uh this one there's no real party system like you can join your like other people's games on plutonium it's on black ops too using like custom games but like that's not the same and also i don't think that i don't think the join player option actually works when they're like playing on a public server either way it's just not the same man you don't get the 360 ui on plutonium that's all i'm gonna say i'm happy at plutonium it's amazing but like i really hope like xbox fixes these old games or at least activision like even before the activision i'm down for that that'd be pretty cool i guess that was weird <gasps> Panicked. So we have no UAV anymore. I was relying on that the entire time, something I never do. I think I finally fixed one of my worst habits, which is just always forgetting to look at the look at the minimap. I know I'm a Call of Duty YouTuber and I forget to look at the minimap. Yeah, I mean not anymore, I guess. I was uh, that was like really all I was doing. Well, I definitely feel like the Black Ops Cold War camos are helping with that because I have to like keep looking at the camp there for like the. I forgot what challenges it was. It was like the like the get detection kills challenge or something. My god, I'm atrocious. Simply terrible. Mortar team. Mortar team standing by. Our spy planes in the air. Uh, put it. Enemy spy plane above. Here. 
Here, here. I don't know how those work. I've never used one in my life. I just claimed it out of instinct. Yeah, there's no way I got someone. That was horrible placement. Okay. Yeah, that's Black Ops 1 360. It's in a rough state. 